we found that an area of uh, sea ice that we were um, surveying is not really what the scientists thought it might be, which is this older, thicker, multi-year ice. It was actually this younger, thinner, technically first-year ice, which isn't thick enough um, to withstand the summer melting. And what that means, in other words, it was open water uh, last summer, and it, um, uh, and it will return, will have returned to open water um, this summer. The, uh, the, 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 the findings, if you like, the implications of that discovery, if you will, is that the, uh, the, the time frame is, has come towards, it, it supported an emerging consensus amongst the scientific community just in the last few months, really, that what most of the sea ice cover will go in the summer times as soon as 10 years from now. So it's a new, it, it, it's, it's adding for this, the, the Catlin Arctic Survey's data and the findings that have just been released is just adding further weight to a, 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 a very new emerging consensus of this um, imminent loss of sea ice. First year ice, um, which now comprises the, the most of the sea ice cover floating on top of the Arctic Ocean around the North Pole, um, is, it, it, it is defined by it having been open water in the summer the previous year and it's only had an autumn and a winter and a bit of spring to, um, to, to have frozen and it can only freeze to about one and a half, two meters in thickness um, and, then the, and then the summer melt starts and it's simply not thick enough um, normally for it to survive so it then re it melts back into the sea and um, and what's happening is that there's an ever smaller area of this older, thicker ice, um, which can be three, four, five meters thick, um, uh, at left off the northern coast of Greenland and Canada. It's, it's uh, as some have referred to it, it's the Alamo, uh, the last bastion of, of, of sea ice that can just withstand um, the summer melts. If you like, we've been thinking about it's our grandchildren that we need to be worrying about, or even our children. It's, it, it's that sort of time frame that the consequences of our of human activity are, 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 can be measured. Now, I think the survey and the find are showing that no, it, it's now, um, it's upon us. And the, the, yes, it's bad news, of course, that we are changing the, the face of our planet um, from deep space this has been one of our planet's defining surface features sea ice a white cap on the roof of our planet and now and, and it always used to be there throughout the year now it's going to be a seasonal feature only that's it can't be a good thing and we are playing a significant part in its removal but we can make this into good news in as much as if we see this as the moment when we realize we have to change um, how we interact with the natural world. Um, it cannot withstand um, a sort of, a, 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 a sort of, it, it cannot withstand uh, human impact um, ad infinitum.